So today I'm just going to show you real quickly how to make these light boxes. They're actually really easy and just so detailed when you have that light behind it. So I have the I got this image from Creative Fabrica and I'm going to show you how to get a few more from there and then we're going to make these. Okay, so I am going to Creative Fabrica and if you click on the link below, I have um, some great deals for you that you can, you can get a month access to Creative Fabrica for just a dollar. And that's what I had and I downloaded a bunch of these. So, um, But they're also having some good Black Friday deals. So go ahead and check out that info below if you are here right around Black Friday. But I am coming in and I am going to just type light box up here. And you will see that they have all of these great images for light boxes so this is what we are going to be making today so you can scroll through here and find one you like you'll see that this is the one i have already done that i showed you and this is the one we're going to do today so i have already downloaded these so all you do is click on them and you can either buy it add it to the cart or if you have the subscription it will just have a download button up here and you will see it kind of tells you what you need here and that it's going to be all these layers. Okay, so I'm going to jump over into Cricut Design Space and we are going to upload this. So I'm going to click on the upload on that left hand side and the upload. Okay, so I'm going to go into my downloads and type in Christmas Snowball Shadow Box and you can see I already have it here. So within the file that I downloaded, it has the PDF instructions, so you can click on that and it kind of just gives you a generic one of, of how to do this. So you can definitely print that out. And then I'm gonna go into the folder here and it has all the different files. I'm gonna click on the SVG. It does have all eight artboards. So we do have to upload these one at a time. So I'm just gonna actually drag and drop over here board one click on upload and then I'm gonna come back up to upload image again and click back on my file for folder drag over artboard two okay and I'm just gonna keep doing that for all of the artboards I wish it would let us drag in more than one at one time but it doesn't it only lets you drag in one at a time okay so now that I have all eight in here I'm just gonna click on all of them and add them to my canvas. And it should come in at the right size. So you'll see if I just click on one, it comes in at 7.874. And this is the size for an eight by eight shadow box, which is what I have. And you'll notice when I make it that it's actually too thick for the shadow box that I have, but it works just to give it a frame around the front side. So these, I don't know why I came in a different color, so I'm just gonna actually change all of these to the same color. Not that it really matters because I'm gonna have to cut them all out, but I'm just gonna grab that and move it up. So it turns them all into the same color. Okay, so we're gonna go to make it. And I'm gonna do all of these on matte on a 12 by 12. Okay, so you'll see that we're going to have eight different mats and we're going to cut out each one separately. So we're going to go ahead and continue and jump over to the Cricut and start cutting these out. Okay, so I'm going to be using this, these 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock that are 80 pounds and I'll link these below. But since this is actually a smaller, it's under eight inches, you could use eight and a half by 11 cardstock too. 
So you're just gonna need a bunch of cardstock, some kind of adhesive. I'm using a tape glider. And then I just got these shadow boxes from Michaels, I believe they're eight by eight, but you can see they're actually not gonna be thick enough, but when placed up against something, you can't tell that there's still another inch of white sticking out, but if you can find deeper ones, by all means. And then I'm just using some fairy lights because this is what I have on hand, and I don't wanna to buy anything else, but if you have like the LED lights that um, people hang on their rooms and stuff, it will probably show through a little bit better. Okay, so I've connected my machine and I'm just gonna select medium cardstock, 80 pound here. And it just needs the fine point blade. So I'm just gonna load. We're gonna be doing this nine times. So I'm just gonna be adding a piece of cardstock on my mat. And I always like to use a brayer to make sure it's nice and stuck, especially for these really intricate cuts and just going to load my material here. So the other thing you're also going to need is some foam and I'm just using a foam poster board that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a bunch of small pieces out of this to use to set those layers apart. So depending on how much depth you want to get it, um, you can use different sizes of that, like the foam tape, things like that. But again, I'm using what I have on hand. So I'm just going to start cutting this out. Okay, so my Cricut stopped. So I'm going to unload this mat and then just peel the cardstock actually from the mat so it doesn't make this bend and whatever doesn't come out. So for these intricate cuts, the sharper or newer your blade is gonna be, the better success you're gonna have and also with a stickier clean mat. My mats are not as sticky as they probably should be. So these little small things might not get totally pulled up. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut out all the other eight layers just the same way, and then we'll put it together. And you can also use a piece of foil. Just kind of push this out so your blade's sticking out and push that in so it sharpens it and cleans it a little bit in between cuts. Pop that back in. So this is how they're gonna go. So in order to get that depth in between them for the light to shine, we have to add some, some foam board. So again, I am using this poster board and I'm just gonna cut it on 
do some seven and a half by seven and a half inch lines first. So this is going to be my back layer. And then on the very back side, I'm just going to use a piece of copy paper. Okay, so again, that's my very back layer. So I'm just going to flip these over. And to add them, I'm just going to add the foam just around the edge of it. And some of it I will have to cut a little bit, but I'm just using a double-sided adhesive glider, and we don't want them sticking over any of the things, so that's why you want them pretty thin. So the ones on the ends are going to be slightly smaller. So you can kind of cut as you go. Okay, so we have that one layer. So now this is just gonna fit over here. So I am going to put adhesive on this side. Center it over this. And press that down. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do that for all of the layers. So now I'm going to get a piece of just copy paper and this is going to just go on the back. So okay, so we're just going to glue this on the back and then this is what we're going to glue the lights to. Okay, so then I'm just going to open the back of the shadow box. And remove this part. And stick that in there. 
So you can see that it still sticks out on the side. Okay, so then we're just gonna tape lights on the back and it will light up.